Hey folks, let's quickly run through the uh, tab, the side left and the side right, or the tab left, tab right, I should say, that we have in the two column left or the two column right side menu pages. Uh, simple uh, accordion tab, it's not accordion, it's a bootstrap tab. Uh, we simply tweaked it and modified it with some CSS to you know have it match the theme. But the idea is simply we have a tab here, it can display an image, you know, heading, some information here. You don't have to keep the same HTML formatting. Basically all that happens is when you switch from one tab to the other, it displays a different type of content in the page. We've just used some pictures and you know fake names and whatnot to give you a bit of an, a bit of an idea of what you can put in here. So let's just jump right into it. Let's just uh, pop right into the uh, uh, left side menu page here. I'm going to uh, do the open a library item and I'm going to control shift and I to get rid of the visual aids. So really what we have is up top we have a newest and a recent. Those are the tab that you see right here and you can see that um, we have one with an icon which is the default active tab and then one without. Of course if we dig into the code view here um, there's our, our recent tab and there's our newest tab and all we've really done is just tossed in a uh, font awesome icon next to the text for newest and that's how we get the icon there. You can change the name of the tab right here or in design view. Right? Each tab links to a section lower in the page um, and we use, if you've worked with any of the or watched any of the previous videos on working with tabs and accordions, you'll recognize that there's a, a reference for the newest and a reference for the recent. And If we look down in our page We'll see there's a div ID of newest, and we scroll right on down. We have another div ID down here of recent. So basically, inside the div class of recent or the div class of um, newest, we have a UL tag with the different images and whatnot that you see. But you can actually get rid of this UL tag right here. So, in a nutshell, if I put my cursor here, go and select the uh, scrub all the way over till we get to the UL side tabs. I can delete that and put in whatever HTML content I want or I can modify the UL tags or or whatever. Like I said, for this sort of a thing it was kind of like pictures and titles and whatnot so that you could easily you know change the date and just put in a regular paragraph or change the, the text here, get rid of the image. Right, and the image, by the way, if we double click, it's just a small 50 by 50 pixel image so you can get another one and just replace that. Uh, with with uh, the image that's already there. I'm going to suggest you do make it small though because there's no use putting a big image in there um, and, uh, and wasting and trying to have the, the HTML resize it. That's a bad, bad idea for mobile users. So 50 by 50 pixels unless you want it a little bit bigger. But and anyways that's what we've given you to start with and really you can do whatever you want from that point on. The understanding of the newest or the first tab links to a div container lower in the page um, that we've right down here and the second or the recent link links to this div container down here like so. So that's how each when you click on a tab it displays the right content.